Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my Skybox Infinity Evolved series. I did record this episode or start recording this episode and the um, recording software just threw a wobbly so it corrupted part of it. Um, basically, I've, as you can see here, I've changed all this to logistics pipes setup, changed the floor a bit, and auto set up our um, lasers. So I've got two uh, crafting bits down here. This one here crafting pipe if I show you this is a logistics pipe controller which I've made if you right click you can see the upgrades so for this one I've had to put the advanced satellite upgrade in it and that's because I've got five items I need to send to a satellite pipe normally you only get three uh, but to make this basic machine I needed um, five of them so they're sending it to this satellite pipe tucked away under here which I don't think yeah I can get to there that's it. So that's it to ID three, which then pump it to the assembly table, and then from there out to the chest. Now, and this one's also this one here. I'll show you. It's set for set to do all the chipsets basically that we need. Um, now, let's see, I've started playing around here. I need to set up the. Oh, I've left it upstairs. Magma crucible and the fluid transposer, which. I have made, so I did make when I was recording, but it um, it all messed up. So we're gonna take them, du -du -du, go down here. I'm gonna pop them down. So we're gonna have the magma there. Let's get rid of this bit of cobblestone. Du -du -du, like that, and then the fluid transposer there. Now we're gonna connect these into the logistics pipe system. So we're going to need a chassis pipe. I'm going to go for the. Uh, I'll go for the Mark IV. I can always upgrade it in the future. And a satellite pipe. One of them. Come on. There we go. So we've got the chassis pipe and the satellite pipe should be winging its way to us. There we go. So we should put the chassis pipe here and the satellite pipe here. Now let's set the idea of this. Okay, six. That's the next one in line. So we use six. We will have a look at this. So we'll put the crafting modules in here. We'll just set the satellite yeah, to six which I have done on them too. Good. Because you can set them up by just holding it in your hand and right clicking. Um, so we're going to look at making this sort of recipe here. So the flux electron blend. We're going to need some electron blend with 200 milli buckets of destabilized redstone, which I believe is the is two redstone. Yeah, so one in the magma crucible makes. Yeah. So to do this recipe, if we open up this, go to the crafting, and they can shift. Um, you can just drag these in, so we'll say right click to give one of them and the electron blend one of them and then send two redstone there's the redstone two of them to give us that easy as that, right let's just make sure we've got these machines set up right, so import the back, export side, import side, import the back uh, yep, that should do it. So now, oh, actually, we need to set up the electron blend recipe, don't we? So if we go down here, as you can see, I've put in a few more auto crafting tables. Um, so we'll set up this one here to do the electron blend. Electron. Oh, if I can spell it properly. Electron blend. So that recipe there, shift left click it. Now we need to choose what sort of dust we're going to be sending into it. So we'll be sending the pulverized from thermal foundation. And we need to set the output to electron blend. Right, so now we right click on with the wrench, import that, which will send it to here. Now 
logistics, logistics pipes has got this crafting sign creator, which is how you craft all these. And you literally just right click and it'll put a sign on there showing you what's going to be crafted in that crafting pipe, which is quite handy. Um, so now we should be able to... Let's get upstairs actually when we see it working. As you can see I have extended this logistics pipe system pretty much everywhere. Got rid of most of our transfer nodes and sort of extra utility pipe work. Um, duh, 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 over here. So we need the... Let's get a wrench on here. Flux. There we go. So if we request... Let's just request one of them just to see if it works. Same, we've got the materials. So redstone should go into there. And electron blend, which is crafting, goes into there. Nice. Easy as that. So that's that recipe set up and flux electron blended auto crafted. Nice. So what we're gonna do with that is we need to put it in the induction smelter. Because we want to get these flux electron in ingots. Because what I am gonna try and make is is it up ah, there it is. The flux infused omni wrench, which will basically get rid of our crescent hammer and we can use it for picking up all our machines and pipe work and setting everything, but it's also good for the because I've got a couple of industrial craft uh, machines here, so it'd be good to pick them up with because then they definitely won't break. It's not too bad at the moment because they're only a compressor and a metal former, fairly simple to make, but if I can get away with it I will do. So we need to do induction spelter recipe. So have I got any spare let's have a look if I've got any spare crafting modules in here. No. No, so we need a crafting module. Let's request one of them. I've got these set to auto craft because I've been using a fair amount of them sort of setting up all this sort of system. So while we're waiting for that, come on, come on, where is it? Let's just quickly look at what we're going to need. We need the pyrothium dust, so we need to set that recipe up as well. There it is, right. So let's go and set up that recipe, pyrothium dust. I have made a load of this before though, I used it for something else. But we shall set it to auto craft in case we want it in the future. So, where is it? Pyrothium dust. You can just shift left click and it'll put it in. Again, we need to set what we're going to be using. So, we're going to be using the thermal foundation and I believe it's the IC2 sulfur dust to give us that. Now, you can use fuzzy crafting tables to do this, so you, it doesn't necessarily matter what coal you go in there whether you use the um, thermal expansion one or the IC2 one the IC2 yeah or Ender IO for that matter and it will just look at it uses the ore dictionary to find which one which I have done down here this one there so the basic machine crafting so I've, I was playing around with it to try and get it to do it so it doesn't matter what iron plates we send it it will just choose whatever using the ore dictionary you can see set there, but you also need to, which is what I bought, made this uh, machine, this, whatever it's called, logistics pipe controller. You need to put in a fuzzy upgrade into the crafting pipe. So, so if we have a look here, see again, this is ore dictionary. Because that's the thing that I wasn't doing. So I was using a logistics crafting table without the fuzzy upgrade in the crafting thing. So that's just a little tip for you if you want to use it. Now this thing here, crafting sign creator, do that, which means we haven't imported it. There we go. Nice, so that's the dust made. So let's go upstairs and set up the induction smelter. Oh yeah, there you are. So let's just check satellite ID one. So we'll stick that in there, set the satellite to 1. So we're going to need 2 blend and 1 dust. So 2 of you and so it's pyrothium. Pyrothium dust. Yep. 
add one of you. Create fluxed. Makes two of them, doesn't it? Yep, two. Cool, so now we should be able to request the fluxed um, ingots. Let's craft one of them. Now that that's messed up. Why did that get all... I don't know. I might even have the recipe for that wrong by the looks of it. No, that should be right. Okay, never mind. I don't know why that was all like that, but... There we go. So now we've set that up. Sorry about that in the background. And that will get us the ingots. Nice. So I should send one down here and one upstairs. Yep. So just one other thing I've done, as you can see I've changed around this floor, got rid of all the torches, made it look a bit better, and uh, I've changed this chest as well, so this chest, basically if I dump stuff in it, if it's got a place it will go, if it hasn't it will stay, so like that, that, chuck all that sort of stuff in, they've all got a place to go, that does have a place, but because it's the durability has changed, I don't think it goes anywhere. So we need to set up a place for these two items. And as you can see, I've tried to slowly sort of sort these drawers out. So I made a lot more of these two by twos. So you can go there and you can go there. Because we shouldn't be needing a lot of them items. If we are, we'll probably be using them straight away. We won't be storing them up. Um, one other thing I have done is, if I can get down there, to show you. Is it there? No, it's back a bit more. Where is it? I believe it's around here somewhere. Ah, it's over here. There. So uh, this pipe here, if we right click on that, you can see we've got the polymorphic icon sink, which will basically put items into this system if they're there, the provider module which allows this stuff to be taken out and active supplier module. So this the one here will basically try and keep this uh, drawer system stocked with the following items. So that should help me out in the future when I need the stuff I ain't got to sit there waiting for it to be crafted. If I need a stack of iron, refined iron, it'll be there ready for me and then this will automatically, um, I'll fill that hole in later, it will automatically fill the system up for us. So, the reason I was doing all that was because I want to make the wrench. So, we've got the flux electrum ingot sorted. <laughs> We're now going to need to make the flux crystals, which is diamond and redstone. So, again, another recipe down in the induction smelter. Sorry, fluid transposer. So, let's open up this, which is why I have two crafting modules. So we need one of them is made by so diamond and two redstone. So diamond, oh, one of them and redstone. One, two, easy as that. So now we should be able to get the flux. There we go, flux crystals. So we want two of them. We're also going to need another one of them, so I may as well request them while we're down it and look at the other thing to make for the wrench, which is the obsidian rod. So the obsidian rod is just pulverised and blaze powder, simple enough to make. So we need two of them, and blaze, one of them. I should send it all down here. So we're just waiting on one more of the ingots, which is somewhere. What's going on with that? What's going on? Is that crafting? There we go. There it is. Nice. Cool. 
so we can now craft up this fused wrench wherever my crafting table is oh, I got rid of it didn't I let's just find a crafting table somewhere there we go I need to sort my food this sort of situation out alright so let's make the obsidian rod no you're not going to stack oh, I only made the come on there we go obsidian rod fluxed and fused obsidian rod and then the wrench right so now we need to look at power in this thing so the way I'm going to do it is just use a ender IO capacitor I think no I'm not so we need signalium how do we do that signalium we need blend or an alloy smelter so we'll go for we'll go for this way so we need to set up this recipe hmm right silver copper so should be able to use the thermal foundation one yep and then we need a bucket of redstone so let's go tell this system how to do a bucket of redstone now is that going to work? yeah so redstone in there so we're going to need another can I actually use this without it being powered? no we need a bucket and we need redstone so one bucket of that and redstone ten of them and a crafting another crafting module let's just request a couple of them just in case I need them in the future so now we've got to wait for it to be crafted so what else are we going to have to set up so we're sorting out these basic capacitors because all the other stuff that's easy enough to do red chip sets yeah I can do that what's the table making up at the moment shouldn't be going ah no why because I've used some iron chip sets for the um, crafting modules that's alright that's just auto filling for us so it's just these nuggets we need to make <laughs> so we need blend yep right so we need silver dust <laughs> have we got them yet yep nice right so we need to put that in there and what was the satellite? 6 set that to 6, so we want 10 of them and 1 bucket gives Let's see if we can click it in destabilised one of them nice so we should be able to request a bucket of destabilised redstone no because we ain't got any buckets All right, let's put these back in the system I'm going to have to eat very quickly it's the easiest way I find to put stuff back in just chuck it in that hopper and extract it out into the system uh, it's not going to have some places to go I believe some of the things or will it? so a quick look yeah, everything's gone into the system alright good 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 so we need to set up some auto crafting alright now I've set up the auto crafting for the capacitor I can't remember why I did that but I did it for some reason so let's look at the uh, let's choose that we want the thermal foundation one thermal foundation one done easy as that right click on that import where's my sign creator on there now I'm also going to tell this how to make buckets in case we want multiples uh, yeah type it in bucket now we're gonna 
use the IC2 plates. Yep. Import and that. So now we're going to need the crafting module again <coughs> to make the blend into um, an ingot. And then we're going to need no water crafting thing for the ingot into nuggets. So I don't actually think. I've got a no I haven't got a redstone furnace set up. Can you do it in the induction smelter? Yeah. We'll do that. I think I haven't got a redstone furnace. No. No, I haven't. Well, I might just do it manually for the moment then. And set up a redstone furnace uh, off camera. Right, so we should be able to request the blend. Let's request four of them. So it should make some buckets. Yep, send a bucket there. Send the redstone. Taking its time, but that's what it is. And that bucket would have gone downstairs to the crafting table and then back up here once it's crafted into the chest. Where are you? I bet you there you go. Nice, so that bit's working. Let's just manually take this over here to our redstone furnace and smelt this up. Now we are gonna have to set the nugget recipe ready for when I do set up that redstone furnace so I could just take it out or actually no, no I won't, I'll put it in a compacting drawer if I've got one free, if not I should just make one let's have a look, have I got any compacting drawers free? no, no that's not a problem, I will just make one then transfer that uranium over there and put one in there but I should do that off camera so we've now got our compacting drawer up there and take the signal out of here and stick it in. There we go. So now we've automatically got ingots and nuggets and blocks if we so call require. Um alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is set up the capacitor. I'm gonna do an auto um crafting recipe for the capacitor because uh, what's this? Oh, I don't need that anymore. Um because I think I'm going to be using it quite a lot. So we'll just do that. We'll choose the normal block of redstone. Let's get that imported in. And put a little sign on it. And there we go. So now we should be able to request the capacitor. Oh no. We are missing the lap lapis electrons. Right, so let's get some lapis. We're going to need five of them and some redstone. Not three, two, but oh well. So we're going to just put this in the thermionic fabricator. Now I have set up this with the diamond recipe because um, I was going to make a load of lasers. Um, let me just quickly show you something. Uh, but I was having a bit of a problem with it. Let me just request all of them out. Um, if I now go ahead and request four, it will take make the four like it normally would and send it to that chest. But if I request two which I shall show in a second Once are they actually in this chest now? yep so now if I request two as you can see the recipe set up, there's everything there ready to go let's just reset, request two of them um, yeah we'll basically go craft the two send the two into the chest so you'll see the items coming in in a second boom boom and then it puts the rest back in here. Now I don't know why it does that and 
I've been playing around with it and can't really get it to stop doing it unless I do it to a chest I suppose but um, if anyone who's watching this knows how to sort of sort that out with just logistics pipes please do let me know in the comments below because it gets a bit annoying having to come down here and take out any excess or just I'm going to have to order them sort of multiples of four I suppose but yeah if you do know please do let me know so I can um, sort of sort out this because I will just be doing a few more fabricators for the um, I don't for the um, rest of the tubes once I get it set up so I'll stick that in there and that there uh, let me just grab a diamond quickly just to reset the recipe I might be able to drag it in let's just have a quick look No, okay. Right, so I should put these into our system. Where are we? There we go, just there. Might as well put the tubes in as well. Right, so now we should be able to request the capacitor. Nice, repressed, complete, and it should be on its way to us. So now, once I get this, I should be able to upgrade. Well, charge up the um, the wrench. Nice. Let's just go dump it down somewhere for the moment. Let's just stick it on the end there. Uh, I'll have to put the just input and put the wrench in. Nice, so there we go. Well, I shall leave it there. I'll just let that charge up and go get them uh, IC2 machines, bring them across here and set them up for a bit of more auto crafting. But I hope you enjoy the episode. And I'll say, if you do know how to sort of get around the um, thermionic fabricator issue, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time.